What's up, y'all? You already know you back on the road with your boy, Ram Rican, the best gig channel on YouTube. If you are not subscribed right now, you're definitely missing out on some great content. Make sure you smash that subscribe button right now, turn on your post notifications, and give your boy a thumbs up. Today is Friday, May 24th. It's about 11.30 in the morning. We got a job off the of task credit. But this ain't just any regular job. You see these gauges right here? We doing something totally different for you. I got an air conditioning job that I took off at TaskRabbit right now, and I'm gonna go to this customer's house, and I'm gonna go and fix their outside condenser unit. So come along with me, and let me show you another side of this hustle out here, and what other certificates that I got, and what kind of other jobs that I know how to do. So let's get to the customer's house, and let's go and fix the air conditioning unit. You already know, you're on the road with Breeze Buy Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Services. Let's go. Rich Lou, Rich Lou. Rich Lou. How's everything going? Going well. What about you? Hey, doing good. Doing good. Sorry, I just came from Elizabeth in Jersey, so I was a little oh, quiet no drive. Oh no, so far. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good drive, but it was a little, a little long. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, let me just check out your. Where's your thermostat located? Yeah. So we have a few of them. The one down here is um right there. Okay. It's the nest. And then we have one upstairs. Too. Okay, uh, with the with the air handler, right? Upstairs? Yeah. yeah I think okay, so. okay. I just wanted to check if there was anything going on with these, like if it was in any type of mode. See the attic, they said, right? Yeah, so basically, we had someone come. Uh huh. Yeah, he told me that there was a like technician a before. Second like um, opinion yeah opinion, of course like. of course but there's basically so there's the outside unit that's what they said was broken yeah yeah which yeah is there because that's the one that should be turning on yeah to get the cool started but then in the attic um we had an issue last year where there was like the same kind of pressure issue okay there was some switch that flipped okay and yeah, i think they something. fixed it at the time okay but like, they take the switch or they just like reset the mode i don't know what exactly they did honestly um okay. There was no, you don't know if there was like a part replaced or anything? I think they just flipped the switch. It was really easy, whatever okay. they did. They okay. didn't replace anything. Okay. That's why I Because it didn't cost it. us any money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. They just kind of like, oh, here's, here, I fixed it. And that was it. Yeah. 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 Give it a little bit of a starter here. Let's go check out and trace back all the other steps to go and find if there's anything tripping. So let's start with that. First, you start with your main power source, and then you gotta go to your condensing unit and go and check to see if your fans are blowing. Now, check out outside. Supply that here. And I go on here. Okay. Come so on, it's not coming on. And yep. we we had um we had like a HVAC guy look at like last week, but it felt like he was very quickly what? like reverting to just like you know pushing out of re like reinstall as you would expect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, where, yeah. Where, the that's where the money is. So, yeah, so we yeah, yeah. To have what? So ultimately, after he came and he saw this, what what he just what did he said? He just immediately went into like, oh, you just need a new unit. Yeah, he's like, this is 15 years old. He's like, probably kicked. Um, he's like, fan motor might be dead. Um, that could be, and yeah. it could be the case. Um, yeah, I'm, but, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, but even so, you 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 replace those things. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you have cars out here that are still running good. You just replace the components and you keep it going. That's, you and know? he was like, maybe the he's like, maybe the converters kicked or the. The only way that that you would, I I personally feel like this would just have to be like scrapped and overhauled is is is. 
um, the compressor is just shot. You know what I mean? Because those become, it's like, why am I going to pay so much money? Like, those yeah. those compressors can't be open. You know what I mean? Some of them can, but some a lot of them can't because yeah. it's going to damage the system. And, and so we got quoted at, you know, whatever, for, for a new unit. And okay. so just wanted to get an assessment. Or yeah, yeah, it's yeah, definitely. So, you, you, I'm, I'm going to do all do my little thing, my steps and stuff like that as far as like what I want to check out. Yep. Um, I'm also going to um, eventually open this and, 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 and test the um, the motor and the capacitor and awesome. different things like that. Yeah. Just just to see because if those things are dead, hey, let's throw this, swap that out, sure. you know what I mean? And then let's get this up and run. Awesome. All Thank right? So much. All right, cool. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Let me just uh, mess around with this here. Thing, I will definitely give a, a very nice tip. tip awesome. To avoid awesome. The yes, sir. Thank no you. problem. Appreciate it. Main breaker, is it like in the basement? It's downstairs, there are two okay. of them. Okay. There's one on this wall and then there's one on that wall. Okay, Feels perfect. Thanks. This one's basement light. Fuse box because I think that it's this one where we at. There we go. All right. All right. So which one is which? Let's see. Dishwasher, the room, the dryer, outlets, dishwasher, disposal, family, energy, more hunting. Oven blower that's inside main power and ammo. Okay, gas bedroom you know, to small amount comes AC is nine and eleven. Okay. Nine and eleven. I just want to turn this off right here. Nine. All right, y'all. I came back out to the van. Come and get a couple of my meters so that way I could go and start uh, testing the power on the. Uh, the compressor components the you got the, the you got a capacitor inside of there you got a fan motor um, that's also in there that you could check so we're gonna check it out we're gonna see uh, just exactly what's going on we can see so the complaint was that the uh, compressor the condenser outside the outside unit which distributes and releases the hot air was not working it's not turning on so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go try to see exactly where's the problem if the guy needs a whole new system or if a guy needs uh how you say Or if he needs uh, just some new components, you know what I mean? He said that there was somebody that had came out um, before I did, uh, like last week, and that um, they came and they checked the system for them, and they said to them that, you know, they, they jumped right into trying to sell them a new unit, you know? So he said that the guy tried to sell him a new unit, uh, and that uh, he said that it seems like the motor, blow, blow, motor, the blower motor is dead, and the... Uh, compressor might be dead so let's go check it out so we got the panel open right as you can see a bunch of spider webs our power is off I already took it off I took the power off inside as well so let's take off our sleeve here and when you're gonna take the capacitor out always make sure to get like a screwdriver or something and go in between the contacts to get rid of any type of electricity that may have been inside of the capacitor still. So there's none in there. So we're gonna proceed to take off this capacitor and test it. Just took my picture of my capacitor Take these off. We see 
see in here, we got a scroll compressor, hermetically sealed. And we got a reload switch right there. I'm resetting the that capacitor is blown. Is it? Uh, yeah, it, it it shot. So that definitely wouldn't let it come on. Uh, cause that's just that's that's what gives it like the boost of it uh, of electricity, yeah. right? You know, when yeah. the sun turns on. That one's done. Uh, I'll just re reset the, the 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 pressure switch. Yeah. Uh, cause after I, I want to try to boot it up, there. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna look up some stores around here. Is there like a any type of supply store? There's a Home Depot that's like. Yeah, I have capacitors here. Like, like a run capacitor. I need. Um, uh, what are we looking at? A 45 over 5 microfarads. Uh, the number we want to. Um, because like this, you know, it's so old. I can't even see like the model. No. I got a 440 volts 50 or 60 hertz I could give you this model I could give you a model number that I see here on it yeah what's that S, uh, S as in Sam F, in, F as in Frank Sam I'm trying to look you to see what I other numbers have any 440 volt here um, I would only have like the turbo Turbo capacitors that are like universal type. Um, yeah, how much? How much do you have those for? Uh, those are eighty-one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's expensive stuff. All right. Okay, uh, I'll give you a call back. Let me call one another store right quick. Let me double check just to see if I can find something more compatible. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah. The stores I just called were the nearest ones because all the other two stores that I would have gone to, that Johnstone and Abco, mm -hmm. are about 13 miles away each. It's about a good 25 minute drive. So I don't. If you need to come back and install it, you know, tomorrow or Sunday, whatever works best. There's a store around you that's better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to kill time doing the 25 minute drive there, 25 minutes back. That's almost a whole hour, yeah. you know what I mean? And then chit chat with the guys, have them look it up. So yeah. I'm just like, I was trying to call the most nearest one, just because of where we're at, man. No worries. inside of his condenser is blown it's, it's super old you guys can see there was no uh, there's no power in it at all uh, it's supposed to be 45 microfarads and I was getting zero nothing it shot so we're gonna uh, my customer had to leave uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this run capacitor with me the nearest uh, supply store is about 13 miles close to my location um, so it's about like a 25 minute drive. Um, my customer did have to leave. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this run capacitor. Um, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go to the supply store. I'm gonna get everything that I need and I'm gonna come back uh, tomorrow. Um, Cause my customer, he had to leave um, and I don't wanna kill the time just driving. You know what I mean? So there's a, there's a supply store actually by where I'm going. I'm gonna pick up this run capacitor for my customer um and then like we could i could come out uh tomorrow or sunday uh we'll plan it out book another little hour and come out and then let me test my theory on the run capacitor and we'll start from there like i said this is a process of elimination um whenever you do troubleshooting on any type of uh split unit uh, split packaged uh, air conditioning unit so uh, it's a process of elimination folks this is not an easy task it's not something that you just walk in and tell oh well, Oh yeah, yeah, this is what's wrong with it. 
you don't know what's wrong with it. You know, you can only test certain things. There's, there's about 10 different steps for you to test before trying to find out your actual problem. Um, you know, that's the, that's the process of elimination. So uh, let's get out here. Let's go to the supply store. I'm gonna help. Well, I'm gonna close up the customer's home and everything else. And I'm gonna turn on all the power again uh, inside. I'm gonna leave this one off because I took this off. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll continue to fix it. So I'll see you guys when I uh, get to the supply store. So we're here at the supply house, Abco, uh, to get this capacitor. Wally. Okay, I'll just say hi. All right, y'all. So we just left the uh, supply house. I went to Abco. Had some words with the lady in there and the other guy because they were very rude. They're very rude. You know what I mean? I don't got time for that shit. So whatever. Had some words with them. Um, but I was able to uh, get another capacitor, which I needed uh, for my job tomorrow. Um, it only came out to about 20 bucks, so it got that, and now um, I'm on my way to actually park up my van until tomorrow. The customer, the second part of the job is going to continue on tomorrow on Saturday at 12 o'clock uh, noon, um, as my customer and his wife, they had somewhere that they had to go, so fortunately they weren't able to stay in the house, so um, we rescheduled, you know, to proceed with the job tomorrow. Um... Normally, you know, people usually have it. I had a whole conversation with the lady. It's not even a conversation, a whole debate, because me and her went back and forth about it. But uh, anyways, she's claiming that there's some new protocols as to why, you know, about purchasing um, products from their business and stuff like that. I said, listen, man, I got, a I got a business. You know what I mean? I got a business and I have an account with Avco. My name's all up and down, all that paperwork. So I don't know why she's sitting there feeling the need to give me this whole backstory on why she can and can't do something. Wow. They had an attitude. They had an attitude from the day, from, from the moment I walked in because the time is 4.45 on a Friday afternoon. They're ready to close up and go home. And I told her, I said, yo, I said, yeah, I, I get you're frustrated because you just want to go home already. I said, but I'm working. You know what I mean? I don't need an attitude from you because you want to go home. Wow. I got shit to do. And I'm trying to get what I need to get from them before I fucking close it because they ain't open on Saturday or Sunday. All right? So she needed to do her fucking job. And eventually, she did her job after trying to give me fucking lip. And I told her, I'm, I, I'm not with all the bullshit. I'm not trying to give you an attitude. And I don't want to catch an attitude either. I'm not disrespecting you. Better than disrespect me and be fucking lazy and give me an attitude. Wow. Do your job. Serving my motherfucking part. And let's continue on with the fucking afternoon. All right? That's about it. So, all day I've been dealing with a bunch of idiots that try to tell me, you know, give me an attitude and not want to do their job. So, you know what? I ain't got time for it, bro. So, I'm out here. I'm on my way home. I'm going to go relax. I need to shower up. And uh, I'm going to continue on here tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, this is uh, day two. We're back at the customer's house. And... Uh, we got our new um, capacitor here. We're just plugging this in. I just checked it with my meters to make sure that it uh, it measured out to the uh, 45 and 5 microfarads that it was should be at, or at least within the 6% uh, 
uh, percentile, and it is. We had a reading of um, 44, um, and we also had a reading of four. So it's within the six percentage percentile of where it should be in microfarads. So we're all good. <laughs> so this is why it's important to always take pictures of how you took it out. I mean, you can always find it out with your meters by, you know, doing the math on it and, and doing the, uh, you know, process of elimination in order to find out which one is your common, which one is your, your herm, which is your compressor, and which one is your fan. But it's just a lot easier to take a picture so that way you could just match it right back up. So this one's a little bit bigger than the one that was there before. They have this clamp here. I'm just gonna zip tie it inside to hold it down. I got my zip ties. I have some zip ties over there in my other tool bag in the van. So we're gonna try to tie this shit. A couple of these together. Alright y'all, <clears throat> excuse me, we're here in the uh, basement, I just got done putting on the uh, the power, which is 9 to the AC, 11 is the compressor, 11 and 9, back on. Okay, let me go just take one more double look at this one here. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure, because this is for everything else, the living room, the ba uh, like the lights outside. All right, just want to double check and make sure. So we're here. Okay, let's see if we can get. Go back downstairs. Let's go check the thermostat. All right, y'all, and just like that, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this content as I enjoyed putting it together for you. So ultimately, the customer's compressor was shot. We had to replace the, uh, we replaced the run capacitor for a customer. 
and ultimately the compressor was shot. So we went over a few options. My customer is pricing out a train unit. Um, he wants me to give him an estimate for installation. So we'll definitely be back there on site to do the install for him. And I'll bring you guys with me. So stay tuned for that video. So you already know, man. Until the next time, you're on the road with your boy Ram Rican. Stay running it up. Peace.